Well, I ducked in to get some breakfast for a little bit because I was starving and uh, made some plans for the rest of the day. I think it's just gonna be temple day, go explore a bunch of cool places around and uh, I am heading back to the subway now, go catch a ride over there. Well, the trains here in Japan are uh, a real struggle for me. Not speaking J Japanese at all or reading it has been tough. So I walked down to the platform that said for Kyoto, which is the way I needed to go and uh, the train on the left side of me was going the opposite direction and there was a train on the right that was waiting. So I boarded that train thinking, oh, this must be the one going to Kyoto. No, they're both headed the opposite direction. So now I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's barely a little stop right here, but it's beautiful. So I'm enjoying that aspect of it, but the trains, man. It definitely comes down to user error but I'm just so confused. So, trying to figure it out, get back on the right train, and hopefully head the right direction this time. Well, I just came from the Kinkakuji Temple and uh, as you could see, the expectation that you would have when you go and visit it is much different than the reality because they have hundreds and hundreds of, of people going through there at any given point. Uh, and so I walked about a half a mile down the road and now I am at the Ryoanji Temple. I believe that's how you pronounce, how you say it, how it's spelled, I don't know. As with uh, all of my travels, I don't know how to pronounce anything, so just keep that in mind going forward. Uh, but it is very close by, and it is slightly more expensive, but way less crowded. And uh, I like that because it makes me actually want to stay and hang out. Well, I was walking back to the train and uh, I came across another temple that is the most massive one that I've seen so far. And there's maybe 20 tourists here. It's really, really incredible. And I just don't understand because it kind of seems like someone arbitrarily said, these are the, the big temples that everyone should go to. And then everyone does. When this place is empty and it's like, it's like 10 blocks long and I don't even know how wide it is. It is massive and these buildings are just so stunning and they're they're everywhere. Every little nook and cranny of this place is beautiful beyond belief and there's no one here. So I guess that's my uh, my tip for Kyoto is that you can find really really amazing spots that really no one else is at. If you want to avoid crowds, you can totally do it and find amazing places to go see. In some cases, they might be better than what other people are going to see, which they're standing in line to go do, so I don't know. I think Kyoto is kind of the uh, tourism hub for this kind of stuff. It's just stunning and it's one of the reasons that I love Japan so much and made me want to come here in the first place. So I am just really, really enjoying myself out here in the beautiful combination of old architecture and landscape that has been curated and maintained over the years. It's been really, really cool to see.
Well, I'm right across the street from the Nintendo headquarters. I found out that the, the building here that they have is actually their worldwide headquarters based in Kyoto, which I found very interesting. Uh, so I'm just hanging out over here, flying the drone way up there. It's doing a uh, time lapse. I'm just gonna leave it and let the beautiful colors of this amazing sunset come through in the time lapse because they, the clouds are moving very, very quickly. So it should be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's been a great day. I think I need to extend my time here in Kyoto. It's just, there's too much to do. And uh, I've barely scratched the surface and I need to see more of it because it has been incredible. So I think that's what I'm gonna try and do if I can stay at the place I'm at now or move somewhere else. And uh, just gotta keep exploring here because I am having a great time. I'm loving Japan so much. And I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you are, click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you then.